A new University of California, Irvine led study finds that the persistence of a marker of chronic cellular stress, previously associated with neurodegenerative diseases such as amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, ALS, and frontotemporal dementia, FTD, also takes place in the brains of Huntington's dis. Chronic cellular stress results in the abnormal accumulation of stress granules, SGs, which are clumps of protein and RNAs that gather in the cell. Prior to this study, published in the Journal of Clinical Investigation, it was not known if these types of granules were a pathological feature of HD, an inherited and progressive neurodegenerative disorder that typically strikes in the prime of life. In addition to identifying SGs as a pathological feature of HD, researchers made several other discoveries including that extracellular vesicles, which float in cerebrospinal fluid, we were initially interested in whether the profile of these messages could serve as a biomarker for HD and investigated whether the vesicles from HD patients contain messages that are different from those of unaffected individuals, said first author Isabella the First Sanchez, PhD, from the Thompson L. Researchers found that the CSF of HD patients carried messages in the form of small non-coding RNAs, MRNAs, that did were predicted to alter the production of proteins that are indispensable for SG formation. They soon identified a key player in SG dynamics, GT pace activating protein binding protein 1, G3BP1, as a predicted target. SGs can be very difficult to detect in brain tissues, and it just so happened that we had narrowed down the adequate conditions and were ready to be in characterizing G3BP1 SGs in HD mouse and HD patient brains, said Leslie M. Thompson, Ph.D., Donald Bren and Story Source. Materials provided by University of California, Irvine. Note. Content may be edited for style and length. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel for more updates.